Hey everybody, welcome back to Chicago Reacts, one of your favorite hangout spots on YouTube. I'm Zach, <laughs> I'm an actor here in the city of Chicago, and um, who else would I be joined by on this channel other than the magnificent... I'm Michael, I'm also an actor here in Chicago, and we are back, we That's are it. reacting to Skyblock by The Great, the Great Potato War by Technoblade. Uh, yeah, this, this was actually was... suggested by Frankabite. Frankabite. Uh, so thank you, Frankabite. Wonderful, we always appreciate wonderful. those suggestions in the comment section down below. If anyone else has any suggestions, feel free to drop those there. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so we don't miss anything else. Yes. And um, Skyblock, too. This is uh, this is Minecraft, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's, it's mm. related. So uh, this is cool. I don't think we've reacted to any Minecraft related no. stuff so far. Oh, very cool. Channel. So, um... Yeah, Michael and I also have some pretty exciting stuff going on, so feel free to check out our links in the description below. Michael's still performing with the Drunk Shakespeare Society right here in Chicago, which is an absolute riot of a time. I'm going to be going at the end of October, um, and then I'm still on a national tour with a play um, called Justice on Trial. If you're interested, check out our, our links below. Um, we would love to share that with you guys. Um, With that, let's uh, jack into the Matrix and uh, check out Skyblock, the Great Potato War. Great Potato War. By Technoblade. Right. Great Potato. I can go for it. Technoblade, where right. have you been all this time? Well, you see, I've been farming potatoes in Skyblock. Mm. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. It all started months ago. I just got in a set of superior armor and wanted hot potato books to upgrade it. I could have just bought some from the auction like a normal person, but yes. if Hypixel has taught me anything, it's that if you have a problem, the answer is slavery. So I had 20 potato minions with 20 enchanted lava buckets, 20 super compactors, 20 diamond spreadings, because it's, it's just free money. Get this upgrade. And with this setup, I was making about 242,000 potatoes per day. Oh At this yes. point, I had enough potatoes for my armor. I could have stopped. I could have put an end to this, but I thought, no. No, what if I went even further? You can check your ranking in each individual collection, and I was already top 50 in potatoes. I decided nice. at that moment that I was going to be the number one potato farmer in Skyblock. How hard could it be? First, I needed to get more minion slots. There's now, I already spent a lot of time getting some 20 minion slots, yes. because I believe minions are important. I mean, they work 24-7, gathering resources, even if you never bother to log in, and as such represent the only way to achieve the dream that all Skyblock players share, which is to not have to play anymore. Unfortunately, each <laughs> minion slot requires exponentially more resources than the last, so I did what any self-respecting Skyblock player would do, and sat in the shop menu buying ice for 30 minutes. I'm having fun. <laughs> I dropped out of college for this. And oh, after yes. spending many hours and 15 million coins, I finally unlocked the 22nd minion slot. At this point, I thought I had first place in the bag. I mean, there's only a couple of solo players that have 23 minion slots, and I figured if anyone went to that much trouble to get more minion slots, they'd probably spend it on a minion that actually makes money, like clay minions. But I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna go even more overkill, all right? I'm gonna upgrade my level seven potato minions to level nine. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh, Technoblade, isn't that obvious? Isn't it just more potatoes? Why wouldn't you do that immediately? No, no, it's not, all right? Upgrading past level seven on minions never makes sense. You're never getting that money back because upgrading costs over 100,000 potatoes just to get to potato nine. That'll take over two months to get that money back, over eight months for level 11. It's just a bad idea. Oh, but Technoblade, isn't that just a long-term investment? No. No, it's not. Remember cactus <laughs> farms? Remember how they were great for like five days and then the admins obliterated them in an update? Yeah. You really think your dreams are going to go that long without getting crushed by the admins? No. No. You're never seeing that money again. I'm sorry. It's gone. But I wasn't farming potatoes for profit. I was farming them for honor for glory yes. so I started upgrading them to level 9. My last hidden weapon was the oh farming crystal which increases God. the speed of nearby farming minions by 10%. I could only fit 12 minions in that radius but I thought you know what whatever I'll just make a second farm crystal. Here we go! Oh okay. No, no, I'm, I'm glad Skyblock tells you that after you make a second crystal. I mean, it's not like you could just tell me that after I make the first crystal. Oh, whatever. No. It's not a total waste of money. Oh, At least I can no. auction. 
thank you, Hypixel. If I wanted to fit all my minions in that 8-block oh. radius, I'd have to think in the third dimension. And so, after restructuring my farm, the potato pyramid was complete, yes. yielding 309,000 potatoes per day. But as an ex-English major, I decided that math wasn't enough to defeat my enemies. I needed to consult the classics. In The Art of War, Sun Tzu says, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. So I decided to do some investigative journalism. I discovered a forum mm -hmm. post from September in which a user named I'm a Squid Kid bragged about being ranked number one in potatoes. By stalking his profile, I found another post weeks later in which he suggested he was now around seven million potatoes. By putting these two data values on a grid, I could calculate the slope to estimate his average daily potato yield. It wasn't perfect, but it was the best method I could think of to estimate how strong his potato farm was. I mean, it's not like I could just go to this his is island and, and look at it you know when you start something wait that worked but what i found shocked me to my very core oh, no, no no this can't be this man made eight potato 11 minions and then he painted the mona lisa it was at this moment <laughs> i realized that i wasn't dealing with the potato madman but a potato supervillain. At this point, I fell into despair. All sense of rationality, even the slightest hope of making his money back. This man had thrown them all away to mm. farm potatoes. I had oh two more minion God. slots than him, but his minions were so high level that he was still making more potatoes than me at 310,000 potatoes per day. <laughs> One I wasn't thousand worried more about his potato him. farm. I mean, I still had some minions to upgrade. Wow. I was confident I could make a stronger farm. I was worried about his head start. The month I spent farming the pigman sword, he'd already been farming potatoes. According to my calculations, he was already seven and a half million potatoes ahead of me. Even if all my minions magically became level 11 at that very moment, it would take 107 days to catch up. I can't go that long without uploading. My fans will murder me. So was that it? Was my quest to become the number one potato farmer in Skyblock destined to end in failure? Oh, no. no. No, I refused. The sunk cost fallacy wouldn't allow it. Oh, yes. I would have to oh, take yes. and triple it. It was at this moment I spoke words that had never been uttered in the history of Skyblock. I should get minion expanders. Minion expanders have long been known as the most useless item in Skyblock. So you know how all minions have this like 5x5 five five area in which they work? They don't actually need this area. They could work with one block just as fine, because all I do is break a block, and then they place it right back. They don't need options. So what the minion expander does is it turns that 5x5 five five area into a 7x7 seven seven area. Why? Why would the minion need more options so it doesn't get bored? But with the Slayer update, they added a hidden attribute to minion expanders, which buff minion speed by 5%, which is still garbage. Diamond spreading gives like five times the value, and I didn't have enough space to put both of them in my minions. But unfortunately, diamond spreading only gives diamonds. If I wanted to become number one, I'd have to sacrifice all that free money for 5% more potatoes. <laughs> With the minion expanders taking up so much extra space, the potato pyramid was no longer enough to fit all my minions within the farming crystals radius. Yes. So I built the Potato Dome! Boasting yes. five floors, the Potato Dome could fit oh. all 22 expanded minions. Yes. And after I'd finished upgrading the rest of them to level nine, the Potato Dome could now produce 337,000 potatoes per day. Oh, At this point, the Potato Dome was the most powerful my. potato farm in Skyblock. I was ranked God. 20 on the it's leaderboard. It's like a potato and server. And, and yet I knew in my heart <laughs> that it wasn't potato. enough. It wasn't even it's close. But what more could I do? Potatoes. Farm potatoes by hand? I actually like, did yeah, for like an it, hour. It made a process. tiny dent. Sure, it would have worked eventually, but come on. Is mindlessly repeating the same task for hundreds of hours really what Skyblock's all about? Okay, yes. yeah, pretty much, but I wasn't about to do that, man. When I said 100 hours, I was not kidding. And yet, as time went on, it began to seem like that was truly the only way. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself, Sun Tzu. I'd done it. I'd discovered a critical flaw with Squid Kid's potato farm. His minions were too close together. Now, with any other kind of minion, that wouldn't have mattered at all, but potato minions are unique. When they're too close together, they'll start trying to plant in spots the other minions already planted and get stuck in an infinite loop 
dragging down the overall farm's potato output by as much as 90%. The reason he hadn't noticed this and was still first place in potatoes is because this only happens when someone is online and on the island, because otherwise Skyblock just runs a calculation to guess how many resources your minions would have made while you were offline. Anyways, he left the door to his AFK machine open, so I left my alt in there. Welcome to the real world, Squid Kid. Okay, can I take a moment <laughs> to talk about Jerry, all right? I got a Jerry here. I got a Jerry there. There's actually, there's actually two Jerry's in there. I have video evidence, okay? Look at this. He's multiplying. He's undergoing mitosis. But that's not all the other day. I was just minding my business and then... Why is he there? I knew I couldn't rely just on sabotage to get first place because who knows if there's other people out there just like Squid Kid throwing away everything just to farm more potatoes. So I decided to look into alternate fuel sources for my minions. I mean, enchanted lava buckets are already the most efficient permanent fuel source in the game, but what about temporary fuel sources? So I got a bunch of hamster wheels, which give twice as much of a boost, 50%, but for only a day. And I threw like a hundred of them into the potato dome, and it started making 450,000 oh. potatoes <laughs> per day. And so the days went by. I just Every love this Holy. like mad scientist approach to gaming where you just find something and you're like yes i will i will find a way yes. to mess with this as much as i possibly yes. can that's insane i mean it just that's goes insane. like people are just like you know when they're gamers and their livelihood is gaming you know every little thing like that matters to someone that's you true. know it's, well, it's, it's just it's, fun it's just yeah it's just taking it to the extreme in such a crazy way. It's, yeah. it's very fun to watch. Yeah, but but there's so much like creativity involved into coming oh, up totally. with the game plan. Like, oh, totally. It's, it's it's actually fascinating. It's beyond fascinating. Mm -hmm. There's something that I think just like universally impressive when someone commits a lot of time to something, <laughs> even if it is to be the number one potato farmer, yeah. even if it's something yeah. that you like maybe wouldn't consider all that like valid yeah. valuable but right. you're just like right no i res i respect your commitment <laughs> right and and also like what's so funny about this is that like you know the 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 game devs like made this game and like, it's just so i could not imagine what it would be like to be like the, the, the minecraft team right the and then to see yeah. this yeah and then just see that like what people are are doing with <laughs> with your game yeah like it's 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 incredible like people are so quick if to to go in and find out how to break it or exploit it or use it for for purposes that were entirely expected or <laughs> it's, yeah this is great it's wild it's let's great. see if uh, technoblade wins this war he's gonna win the war I the day I plug so. in an AFK on Squid Kid's Island with my alt, while my minions burn through hamster wheels, quickly bringing me into the potato top 10, I was finally making good progress. Until one day, when I went to AFK on his island again. Oh god, he's online. What do you want? Why do you keep doing this? I just, I, I just wanted to check on the Last Supper, man. You AFK'd on my island for 12 hours! It was a good painting! I figured Squid Kid would find it a little bit suspicious if the same guy was AFK at his island every day, so I got a second account. And then I left them both in there. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. What? Why? Why are you guys here? I've been buying some enchanted baked potatoes from the auction house. It's not the most efficient use of my money, but look, I need potato 11 minions if I want to catch up as quickly as possible. We can't only have two. It's not enough. Well, well, I mean, it is enough, but I want to upload within the next year. But the problem <laughs> with the auction house is that it's filled with crazy people. Look, look at this guy. He's bidding 3.9 mil for 26. You think that's bad? 11 million! I, I could see someone bidding uh, 7 million on a stack of enchanted baked potatoes. 8 million? Uh, I could understand that. 11 million? Deranged psychopath. There's no <laughs> justification. Send this man to prison. After a couple days of minion farming and buying enchanted baked potatoes, we have 102, which in regular potatoes is over 2.6 million, and we can only make, we can only make 4 maxed potato minions with it that's all we can make that's how expensive maxed potato minions are they're so good 
but it doesn't matter because they cost so much it's never going to pay off they're all they're all gone <laughs> Whatever. It's it's for the leaderboards. I had to sell everything so that I could invest it in potatoes, man. I had to sell my young dragon armor, my rare cake collection, massively overinflated Halloween items. I had to mortgage my house. It's crazy out there. I actually did pretty well during the Halloween events, which allowed me to raise a lot of money. But I'm just saying, look at this spooky pile, right? Limited edition item with my name and pig rank stamped on them. Could you imagine how much money I would make? If I put this on the auction, I would make Dan TDM's 15 mil water bottle look like tap water. <laughs> he left the sign for me, whitelisted. What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm just ruining Squid Kid's whole life. He's traumatized. He's just living in fear. Why are they here? Why do they keep showing up? But after a few days, I ran out of hamster wheels and I had to resort to my final weapon. The catalyst. The catalyst is the strongest fuel source in the game, tripling your minion output, but they only last for three hours. Fortunately, I had a couple. <laughs> the catalyst, my potato output skyrocketed, and I put that all back into leveling up my minions. And in a matter of days, I had 22 potato 11 minions producing 893,000 potatoes per day. I don't make hot potato books. I make hot potato libraries. Originally, I thought I'd have to go bankrupt buying catalysts if I wanted to catch up to Squid Kid, but I actually discovered that catalysts are amazing. I can buy the materials to make one for like 10,000 coins on the auction, and then each of them makes 14,000 coins in potatoes. This is a miracle. It's free money! So every day I sold hot potato books, and then I bought more crystals. And then I sold more hot potato books, and then I bought more crystals. And that's this the story of how I made it. infinite money. Well, not really, because you can only- The economy, like it's a full economy he's, that is developed within this game. It's yeah. It's fascinating. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Wild. Wild. But he's putting into growing potatoes. I only use so many per day, but I made a lot, and now I was ranked three in potatoes. I did some more investigative journalism and found the guy ranked number two in potatoes. I'm gonna give you guys three guesses as to who left a funny rating on his post. Squid Kid! I was right on his tail, but I decided to visit his island to see just how strong his potato farm was. Oh, this is a joke. This this is pathetic. Only 18 minion slots. This this is just sad. I've seen Irish famines with more potatoes in this farm. <laughs> you might get away with this farm in some garbage vegetable like carrots. But potatoes? How dare you? Oh my god, this crystal. This crystal, it only covers five of these minions. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Against a farm like that, I easily took rank number two. It seemed like I was only one step away from my potato dreams, and yet Squid Kid had been so dominant on the potato leaderboards that he was still three million potatoes ahead. But with Catalyst, such a lead could be destroyed in a matter of days. Still, to be safe, I kept AFK in on his island until oh, one day. Man. I checked my alt's window for a moment, and the island was full. Two guys I'd never heard of before had called the police on Squid Kid and brought a helper to investigate him. Who called the police? Whitelisted. Are you Squid Kid's alt? No, I just AFK here a lot as a hobby. I'm so <laughs> suspicious. He doesn't believe me at all. I'm getting banned. They'd been investigating while Squid Kid was offline. I met him later that day and decided to warn him. Squid... I know we've had our differences, but the police are after you, man. I saw a helper. I saw a helper, Squid. There were two dudes, Squid. They came to your island with with the helper. They were snitching. I don't know why. I need names. Okay, let me get my, my screenshots. You gotta be careful, man. The snitches be everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna go AFK now. <laughs> Just act natural. Just <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> and I'm gone. It seemed strange to be helping my number one enemy, but his sheer dedication to farming potatoes had earned my respect. I had to give him help from one potato brother to another 
Also, I'm deeply scared of him. Did you see what he said when I told him the names? Names noted. That is serial killer. You ain't gonna be hearing from those two guys ever again. I kept throwing potatoes, and in a matter of days, Squid Kid's lead was almost completely destroyed. And yet Squid Kid himself had no idea. He even put a billboard on his island, number one in potatoes. But why would he suspect? Just a few days ago, he'd seen proof on the forums that he was millions in the lead. The poor fool had no idea what was coming. Has it updated? It hasn't updated. All right, I'm going to the hub. Has it updated? Ah! Yes! <laughs> Number one in potatoes! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to celebrate, I took my two alts and my main account, and then I AFK'd on all three of them! <laughs> <laughs> I think at this point Squid Kid knew that the alts were mine, but he was so confused. Why? Why had Technoblade been AFK and on his island for weeks? He was so confused that he didn't even realize that his potato leaderboard spot had already been taken. So I went to confront him myself one final time. What do you want? Why are you doing this? Your potato rank one spot is now mine. <laughs> He's checking. <laughs> He's checking. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! no. no. <laughs> For years, oh, my machinations man. lay undetected. <laughs> oh, you ruined my life! Oh, no! Oh man! This is all I uh, have. <laughs> Yeah, squid. Uh. <laughs> squid, I found a problem with your island. A critical flaw. Get over here. Over here! Squid! Squid, get over here. This sign, it has the wrong number. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad week for Squid Kid overall, I'd say. First he got arrested, and then I cyberbullied him, but it had to be done. And let me just say, there is no chance of him catching up. I even got 23 minion slots just to bury any hope he had. This spot is mine. And that's the story of how I became number one on the potato leaderboards. And we lived happily ever after. All the loose ends finally tied together. Brilliant. Well, except for one thing. Oh god, there's another one. There's another Jerry. And he's staring right at me. <gasps> There's another one. There's a cherry in the water. No, 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 no. There's another one out there. I don't understand. What do you want? What do you want? There's another cherry on the bridge. They're coming. They've, they've got me surrounded. I don't understand. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, man. So that was brilliant because oh, he also... What an epic tale. Yeah, he also <laughs> went and literally, basically made it impossible for anybody to catch up. I mean, uh, I mean, the amount of time and energy you'd have to put in. Because now it's like, because you're, it's not like you, you're like ho holding a number higher. Like you have to get to a level where you're processing more. Than anybody, a right, day. than anybody ever could. So even if somebody else maxed out, right? Right. Like, it would just be impossible to reach him. So oh, that, it would be ridiculous. Um, but we'll see. Maybe there's a revenge story. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, um, thank you, Frank. That was such a funny video. And thank you, Technoblade. That was so fun. I mean, <laughs> maybe this is just because we've... Uh, watch stuff like frost punk but i'm like ah oh. <laughs> <laughs> the things you have to do to become number one a potato game the 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 videos that we reference the most as far as things. what we watch is is bricky's frost punk <laughs> that, that yes. video is stuck with us and then for me it's it's random nations all fast yes. <laughs> that reaction i still watch every other day um that gets me um i thoroughly enjoyed diving into the minecraft world i mean i played yeah, a lot of yeah. minecraft in like high school and college mm -hmm. uh but haven't very recently and just to see the way that it's evolved and like it has its own like in-game history and like there's so much to it that it is so cool 
and very fun to watch um, these different gamers, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and follow them in the world that they've created, you know? Yeah, I, I genuinely don't understand a lot of the stuff that they came up with. I mean, even, like, way back when, when, like, they were building working calculators and stuff. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, like, and, like, different games. You yeah, could play. Like, it's yeah. so um, complex. So, so complex. A lot complex. of the magical items and what they do is right. just wild like i'm sure i would be so in over my head if i jumped in now Mm -hmm. but very cool very cool um yeah i i and and i don't know if um tech what other content technoblade makes but i i would definitely be interested in checking out uh, i feel like pretty much anything by him i thought that the video was Mm -hmm. Real, uh, re- it was a really well done video, especially for being a video made entirely in Minecraft. Like even how he gives his little narration yeah. and commentary, but then he like zooms in on, on the pig's face and stuff. That was, it was good. fun. It was and crazy. just like yeah, the narrative that he created for this video was very fun. Yes. So thank you for taking the time to do that, Technoblade. Mm-hmm. He sunk a lot of mo- potato money in, and we are happy for it. Um, hey, if you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you doing? Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want us to check out anything from Technoblade or from anybody else, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below, mm-hmm. and we will get to it as soon as we can. Also, feel free to check out those links in the description so you can see what Zach and I are up to. Mm-hmm. With that, we'll see you next time on Chicago Reacts. Thanks for hanging out.